is a 2019 musical directed by Tom Hooper, the same guy that gave us the King's Speech, Danish Girl, Les Mis, and the TV show John Adams. This is a movie that, for those of you that don't know, let me read this premise to you. So, it's about a tribe of cats called the Jellicles, who wants to decide yearly upon which will ascend to the heavenside layers and come back to a new Jellicle life. This is a movie that also stars Taylor Swift, uh, Francis Hayward, Idris Elba, Ian McKellen, James Corden, Rebel Wilson, Judy Dench. The list goes on. This is a movie I am not going to lie. I was very much so looking forward to this movie. Sure, there was some backlash with the trailer, but at the same time, I was like, I try not to judge a movie based on the trailer because the trailer is just to build attention for the movie itself. And yeah, if the trailer doesn't work, that's the trailer. That's not the movie itself. And that's my personal belief. And I think that it's just like judging a book by its cover. You don't do that, do you? So I was excited, though, because it's a Christmas movie that is also a musical. And usually when a musical comes out around Christmas time, it's for Oscars, see? And it makes sense, given the director also has had history with, you know, Oscars. I mean, his last three movies all have gotten nominated for Oscars. So I was excited for that. And also, again, the cast. But I'm not going to lie. This movie is terrible. This movie is holy cow. Oh, boy. But here's the thing. Like, it's not bad where it's like, I don't know how to explain it. I left the movie theater with a huge smile on my face, like a huge smile and a grin. And it's not because of the fact that the movie was like good or made me feel all inspired. It's because I was blown away that they spent a hundred million dollars on this movie. It got greenlit. The movie has absolutely zero plot or story. Uh, it doesn't happen. What little there is, if you could argue that, doesn't happen until like an hour into the movie. And that's literally the premise. The premise is what happens about an hour into the movie. An hour into an hour and 49 minute movie. There's something wrong there, right? Am I the only one that thinks that? Um, also, the dialogue was very, like, cringy. Uh, it, it's it's mind-blowing. Like, there have been so many good musicals that have been coming out the last 10 years. And now, all of a sudden, we have a movie that has some terrible lyrics, terrible dialogue. It's just... It's crazy. Like, Jellicle. Jellicle. They keep on saying Jellicle. It's like, it's as if they're going to say Jellicle a thousand times. All of a sudden, like, they're going to, like, make the world turn into a Jellicle. Like, what the Jellicle? Like, the Jellicle is just not going... It's just Jellicleness. You know, I don't understand it. See, I'm talking Jellicleness now. I don't understand it. I wish someone would understand and explain to me what Jellicle means. Why? 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 Why are they saying Jellicle? Am I missing a Jellicle thing? Like, Jellicle, man. Like, it just... It just really frustrated me, man. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's grinding my gears. Also, let's talk about the production design. Usually I praise production design. I truly, I do because I know that when a movie has a huge budget, you can see it. You can see it on screen and there's a lot of details. This movie doesn't have that luxury. It would seem like because the movie has some scenes where everything around the characters is huge making the characters look small, like they are on a train track, which, oddly enough, they're smaller than this huge train track. It just doesn't, doesn't match. But then there are other scenes where they're, like, walking around, like, the village or, you know, in a building, and they're almost bigger than the building. It makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just like, how? Why? Like, I feel like I'm tripping balls or something when I was watching this movie because, like, it just didn't make any sense. You have characters that aren't even fleshed out. Characters go in and out, say monologues. And, and I feel like the director and writer is like, that's the character development. It's like, no, that, that that's not. Because even in the best of musicals, they'll have moments of, yes, singing to get to know the characters. But also dialogue-driven scenes, you know, to get to know the characters. And they also don't just, like, disappear. A lot of these characters literally disappear. Rebel Wilson's in this movie as well as um, James Corden, and they're in the beginning of the movie, and then they don't show up until the last, like, 20 minutes, and I'm like, okay, why, why? And it's like, I don't care what's going on with you guys, because I don't know you guys. And this movie suffers from plot, character, pacing, structure, length, production design, costume design. Uh, the list goes on. The only positive I can honestly say is the score. I mean, the score is not great, but it was very creepy. And it's like, 
I was kind of creeped out by the movie and just blown away because when I was watching these characters, it's as if they were advertising, like, I'm just going to say it. Like, I'm not going to say it. You know what? I'm not going to say it. <sighs> uh, what I'm trying to say is that this movie is essentially, nope, not going to say it. What essentially this movie is trying to say is cats. They keep on saying cats. They say genital cats, genital cats. Jellico Cat, like what the fudgy wudgy is going on with this movie? I have no idea. It is just blowing me away. What is going on? I just wish I understood. I really do. <sighs> like, this is the ultimate train wreck of a movie. I love the fact that it's in theaters. I love the fact that people can see this. Because this is a movie I can see having a cult classic. I really can. It's a movie that, yes, is frustrating, but... It's like a train wreck in slow motion. It's like you don't like that it's happening, but at the same time, you can appreciate what's going on. And that's what this movie is. It's the ultimate train wreck of a movie. Um, it's not the worst movie of the year for me, not even in the top 10, not going to lie. But it's a movie that I just, I think it's a failed experiment. I really do. And I think that technical aspects, entertainment aspects, it just none of it really gels together. And that's why Cats, for me personally, I'm going to give it a zero and a half at a five star rating. So. Yeah, I didn't like it. But in terms of entertainment value, I, I, I say I say check it out. Um, see it once, at least once. Just go see it. Go see it. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure I saw the um, version, because I know what happened with Cats was that apparently the visual effects were so bad that they actually edited it and then sent the new cut in theaters. I think I saw that. Like The visual effects still weren't the best, but I feel like I saw it because... Maybe, again, I was just blown away by... I'm not going to lie. I wasn't focusing on the background as much as I should have been or usually am because I was just so blown away by what I was seeing in the middle of the screen. And that's all there is to say it. I am shocked, but also fascinated. Guys, that's my review for Cats. I'm um, sorry it's not my usual uh, structure. I know I usually do positives and negatives, but... Jellicle, man. I, I just... I, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't resist. But again, guys, cats, those are my thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on cats. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later.